Hey everyone, it's been a while since I actually last made a YouTube video or any sort of scripted content, but uh, I hope you guys have all been doing well and taking care. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to inject SNES games into the Wii U Virtual Console. This is mostly something you want to use for a game that was, let's say, never released on the eShop, or, in today's case, for example, it was only released on the Wii Shop channel and not actually on the Wii U. A lot of great features were added into the Wii U Virtual Console, and some of the games were never ported over back on to the, the eShop. So, a few prerequisites that you're going to need, of course. You're going to need your Wii U with custom firmware. If you don't have custom firmware, I highly suggest checking out wiiu.guide and getting custom firmware. And while you're installing custom firmware, you'll also be able to get WAP Installer GX2, which is how we're gonna install the game. And also the three main types of custom firmware on the Wii U that are still considered up to date are Mocha Custom Firmware, Hacksheet, and also Kobo Hacksheet. And also, if you haven't already watched my setup video on how to get this program set up, I highly recommend checking that out so that you have the program ready and set up with everything that you need configured on your PC. But getting all of those things out of the way, first thing that you're going to want to do, of course, is open up Ultimate Wii U Virtual Console Injector on your PC. You'll see the window open right here and you're just going to want to select the SNES tab. Now, it's going to ask you for a base. The recommended base for Ultimate Wii U Virtual Console Injector is Kirby's Dream Land 3. So, what you're going to want to do is click on it, and then select which one is your region. So, I'm from the US, so I'm going to select that as my region. And now it's going to ask you to download the base. Now, if it's asking you for a title key, make sure to check out titlekeys.ovh for more info. It's technically copyrighted content, so I can't give that out, but I highly recommend checking out titlekeys.ovh if you want to get that part set up since you're going to need a working base in order to inject your game. So make sure to click on the download button. After the base has been downloaded, you can start messing around with the settings right here. So pixel perfect mode is one of the things that you can enable. I personally do not enable this, but if you really want the, the pixels to be, you know, very distinguished within each other, then you might want to enable this. But I'm not going to be enabling this for this particular injection. Now, you're going to want to select the ROM. You're going to need the ROM file for the game. And also, a very, very important thing to note is that full processor based games will not work. So, for example, the original SNES Star Fox game is not compatible with the injector because the SNES Virtual Console games were never designed to be using coprocessor based games. So keep that in mind. If a game that you want to play isn't working, it's most likely because of the coprocessor issue. Select the ROM for what you want to use. And then you're going to be asked for the icon image, so click on create file. The icon image that I like to use most and I think looks the best is the title screen of the game. There are a few different styles you can use of course. Um, they're kind of cool but I like for all of my games to kind of blend in with each other so you can't really tell that which ones are injects and which ones are not. So I'm just going to click on finish. And then you're going to want to create your TV image. So, game name, of course, is Chrono Trigger. And also, the release date, 1995. It's a one-player game, so I'm going to be leaving that blank. And then I'm just going to want to import in my title screen image over here as well. Now, there are different... Um, there are different overlays that you can select. This is the PAL one, which is actually selected by default. Um, so I want to use the NTSC one because I think it looks better and also because this is an NTSC game. 
But you can also even use the, the Japanese one, which I think is a really cool design. You can add a gamepad image, a logo image, and also a boot sound, but I don't really like adding those into my injects. You can, of course, if you want to, but I won't be going into how to use those in this video. And also, you're just going to want to type in the game name, which is Chrono Trigger. And after that, you can click Inject. After the injection has been complete, you're going to want to pack this as a WUP installable. And then you're going to want to open up the folder that it was created in. All you're going to want to do is copy the game and throw it into the install folder on your Wii U's SD card. After that, I'll see you guys all over on my Wii U. Alright, so now you're on your Wii U, make sure to open up Wub Installer GX2 and make sure that your SD card is plugged into your Wii U. And all you're going to want to do is select the game, click install, click yes, click USB for safety reasons so you don't accidentally get junk data on your NAND if the install fails. And successfully installed and you're good to go. Now you can simply exit out of... WAP Installer GX2. And let's see if the inject works. Let's see. Moment of truth. As you guys can see, the banner and everything still loads and functions properly, which is nice. And as you guys can see, it works. You can create restore points, you can mess around with your controller settings, remap buttons, all that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much how you inject SNES games onto your Wii U. Keep in mind that you won't be able to inject games that require the coprocessor, um, but this is really great and it really works really well as well, so... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video! If you guys enjoyed this video and want to know about different ways that you can support me, I highly recommend checking me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash datazemnus. I stream Kingdom Hearts speedruns, Kingdom Hearts randomizers, and also a variety of games which can be Nintendo or anything else. I've even tried out some games such as Life is Strange, but uh, yeah guys, if you enjoyed the video, I highly, highly, highly recommend checking me out on Twitch if you guys have an account on there or are involved in the Twitch community. It would be awesome to see you in one of my streams. Also, make sure to drop a like or drop a comment if you want me to clarify anything or have any questions. Additionally, if you could drop a sub, that would be really appreciated because I'm so close to my 100 sub goal. I'm like more than halfway there, so if you guys could help out on that as well, so I can just get youtube.com slash Zemnis, that would be very, very appreciated. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. Thank you all for all your support, and I will uh, see you guys in the next video for how to inject Game Boy games using Ultimate Wii U Virtual Console Injector. See you all then.